thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam, UPCAT, LAE, PhilSAT, all of those nice things. Now, today we're going to talk about the third part of our series on logic, basically yung data sufficiency. I already talked about yung words na all and only in my other videos. Now, today we're going to talk about the third word, which is SOM. Lagi ito lumalabas sa exam, so I really hope that you understand this concept in time for the actual na civil service exam or PILSAT or LAE. Kasi ito yung talagang medyo tricky and a lot of people have a hard time with this. But if you know the technique and if you know how to draw it, then it's going to be really easy for you. Now, um, if you haven't seen the first two videos yet, go ahead and click here to catch up. Kasi mahihirapan kayo to understand this if you haven't seen the other videos first. Now, today we're going to talk about the word sum, like I said. If you have a copy of the workbook, yung ating workbook, make sure that you answer pages 40, uh, 33 and 34 of that para maintindihan nyo siya better and para makapag-practice kayo dito sa mga concepts that I will teach you. Now, in order for me to show you better, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's talk about the word sum sa logic. Now, again, I can't stress this enough if you haven't seen my discussion on uh, the words only and all, go ahead and watch those first. Kasi uh, some is a little more complicated than that. So, kung hindi nyo yun nakuha at hindi solid ang base ninyo on the concept of drawing a diagram for logic questions, then this is going to be hard for you. So, if you haven't seen those, hit pause here. Go ahead and watch that first. Balikan nyo na lang ako. Don't worry kasi itong video na to will be available naman to you. Now, I teach this ex exclusively that is a live review and online review program and still i'm going to teach that in the upcoming review events if you're attending one of those uh, i'm going to go in depth pa doon. i'm going to make sure that you understand before we move on but um, this is something that i put up here para kahit wala kayong budget then you can study for free and also for those of my uh, for those people who attended my review events if you are not confident pa then you have something that you can go back to and listen at and watch at home until ma master nyo siya Okay? So again, you will need scratch paper pagdating sa logic. Common mistake yan. Nakala ng mga tao, reading comprehension lang yan, babasahin ko lang kasi words naman, hindi ko kailangan ng scratch paper. But no, you will need to use your scratch paper. Alright? Para hindi scratch na scratch ng hen. Okay? So logic rules, again, reminder, number one, tunay na buhay does not apply. Kung anong totoo sa totoong buhay, ibo siya sa logic problem. So kung ano yung sinabi sa logic problem, yun lang ang totoo in that world. So, you have to suspend your uh, concept of reality. And kung ano man yung sinabi doon, you just say yes. Okay. Kung ano yung sinabi, yun ang totoo. Next, take it one line at a time. Ibig sabihin, pag nag-drawing yun yung first line, that's the only way, or that's the only time that you can move on to the next line. Kasi, if uh, idudugtong-dugtong nyo sila lahat, baka maguluhan kayo, lalo na if hindi pa kayo familiar with it. But, if gamay nyo na siya, then you can do go and uh, go straight to the answer. Okay, but again, it'll, it'll take time and practice. So, if you have a copy of the workbook, you can go to page 33 and 34, pages 33 and 34 for exercises on this, so you can practice more. Alright, let's start. So, how do you draw the word sum? Okay, now this problem, okay, lumalabas siya dun sa mga iba kong discussion, pinapalitan lang natin ibang words. So, ang gagawin lang natin, you have to make sure kung ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng sum. Now, how do you draw sum? I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay? Pag sinabing sum, A, R, B, ang drawing niya would look like a proper Venn diagram. Ibig sabihin nun, sum, A, kung yan ang mga A, okay? Again, papalitan ko lang ng kulay aking pen just for emphasis para makita ninyo. We have the B. Sum, A, R, B. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Ang ibig sabihin nun is that lahat ng nasa labilog na B, B sila lahat. And, ang ibig sabihin din yan ay lahat ng, bilog na, ng nasa loob na bilog na A ay A silang lahat. Now, you, if you can see, right here, there is an intersection, right? etong part na to, etong gitna na yan. Ano ibig sabihin nun? May sum na A na B ren at sum na B na A ren Pero, hindi lahat. Merong mga uh, doon lang siya. Parang sinabi natin na, di ba? May mga taong mahilig sa chicken, may mga taong mahilig sa spaghetti. Merong mahilig sa chicken at spaghetti. Pero merong chicken lang, merong spaghetti lang. So, yun yung pinaka-concept niya. Okay? So, you have to know the concept of this diagram. Okay? Now, alright, so uh, let's try to answer the question using the diagram. No? So, sabi, some Filipinos are happy people. Danny is a Filipino. Is Danny happy? 
So, kung i-drawing natin yung some Filipinos or happy people, ito yung first line natin. Ang itsura niya, then diagram, some Filipinos are happy people. Again, palitan ko yung color just so you would see. Some Filipinos are happy people. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin nun? Itong gitna na to, happy na sila, Filipino pa sila. Okay? Yan. Diyan yan both. Ngayon, ano yung ibang sinabi dun sa problem? Ang sabi, Danny is a Filipino. So, kung Danny is a Filipino, what does that mean? Kung Danny is a Filipino, nasa loob siya ng bilog na F. Pwede siya dito. Pwede rin siya dito. Tama? Bakit? Kasi, nasa loob pa rin naman to ng bilog na F. Kasi itong buong bilog na yan ay F. Pero, kung sasabihin mo na, is Danny happy? Are you... 100% sure na happy ba siya? Not really, kasi may mga Filipino na hindi happy. Ngayon, pag sinabi na false, is it false? No, not really, kasi meron ngang possibility na si Danny ay happy. Kasi Filipino siya, kasi may ibang Filipino na happy din. So the answer becomes, letter C, uncertain. Alright, so again, it'll take some time. If you need to watch this again and again, that's the reason why you put it up on YouTube. Okay? Ngayon, Di pa tayo doon sa next na question. Level up tayo ng onte. Sabi, if only kittens are cats and some cats are dogs, some kittens are dogs is... And then you have these options. Now, ang gagawin natin is ipagsasamahin natin yung natutunan natin sa lesson natin on only at saka yung lesson natin on some. So, mag-start muna tayo sa first statement. Okay? Ngayon, I'm going to ask you to hit pause so you can practice and try to answer this yourself. So, hit pause now. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay, let's see if you got it right. First statement natin, only kittens are cats. So, kung drawing natin yon, isang bilog lang sila, only kittens are cats. Kung sino yung kitten, sila rin ang cats. Okay, ngayon, tapos ka na sa statement na yan, you can move on to the next statement. Again, papalitan ko lang yung pen color natin, just for emphasis. Sabi dito, some cats are dogs. Ngayon, anong itsura nun? Some cats are dogs. Now, again, I always uh, put something like this sa side. Hindi nyo kailangan gawin to sa actual na exam kung gamay nyo na yung technique. But I'm just showing you this para makita ninyo na yun yung itsura nung second line in itself or pag mag-isa siya. Now, now that we know that ganito itsura niya, isasama na natin siya dito sa big picture. Since meron ka ng C dito, okay, at C naman din yun, pag sasamahin mo siya, kukurot ka ngayon dito. Some C are D. Some cats are Dogs. Yan yung second line. So, anong tanong? Ang tanong is, some kittens are dogs is, is it true, false, or uncertain? Hanapin ngayon natin sa diagram. Nasa ng kittens? Yung K. If you can see right here, some kittens are dogs ba? Ano itsura ng some kittens are dogs? Ang itsura niya dapat, kung sino yung K, may onting dogs din doon. And if you see right here sa drawing na yon, it is true. Bakit siya true? Kasi ayan o, oh, ito yung kittens, di ba? And some of them are dogs. So, hindi siya false, hindi siya uncertain, sure ka 100%, kasi yun yung drawing eh. Ayan o, K, may kurot, D. Okay? So, again, it takes time, takes practice, and you have to do it again and again. So, make sure that you also follow me on Facebook so you can see if I post questions like this. So, you can try it out. Okay? Another one. Again, I'm going to give you time to answer this yourself before I discuss it. So, this is the question. Hit pause now. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay? Only accountants are good at math. Some people who are good at math are smart. Leia is good at math. Which statement is definitely true? Okay? So, ano gagawin natin? It sounds complicated, right? Kasi statements din yung nakalagay na options. But ang gagawin natin, we have to take it one line at a time muna. So, kayo matitens masyado. Ang gagawin na natin, first line first, only accountants are good at math. Pag sinabing only accountants are good at math, Yan ay nilagang itlog. Kung sino ang accountant, sila rin ay good at math. Okay? So, yung main drawing natin, meron tayong itlog. Only accountants are good at math. So, yan ang itsura ng ating diagram. Okay? Magpapalit lang ako ng pen color so I can show you the second line. 
Ang second line natin, some people who are good at math are smart. Okay? So, some people. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Yung mga good at math, some of them daw are smart. Dahil meron ka ng existing na circle dito, na GM, or good at math, okay? Ang gagawin na lang natin is pagsasamahin natin siya sa isang uh, diagram. So, kukurot tayo dito. Some of them are smart. And then, that is yung ating drawing ng second line. After that, we can move on dun, dun sa ating question. Sabi, Leah is good at math. So, ang tanong nasa ngayon si Leah. Again, pagpapalit tayo ng pen color just for emphasis. Okay. So, Leah is good at math. Nasaan yung good at math? Nasaan si Leah? Yun ang tanong. Ngayon, kung ilalagay natin dito si Leah, Leah is good at math, pwede. Pwede rin siya dito. Leah is good at math. Bakit? Kasi itong buong circle na yan, yan ay lahat yan good at math. So, ito, both scenarios are possible. Ngayon ang hinahanap, which statement is definitely true. Pag sabi definitely true, 100% tama. Kahit pagbalibalit na rin ang mundo, dito sa ating drawing na yan, it has to be there. So, yung una, which is Leah is an accountant. Is Leah an accountant? If you look at this uh, this drawing right here, lahat nga ng uh, good at math, sila ay automatic na accountant din. So, this is definitely true. Ngayon, again, lalo na dahil may all of, all of the above na option, you have to check each kung, kung totoo rin sila. So, tingnan natin yung next one. Leah is smart. Look at the drawing. Leah is smart ba? Ngayon, kung dito si Leah, at dyan lang siya at hindi siya pwede lumabas dyan, then this is correct. Pero may possibility na good at math siya pero hindi siya smart. Kasi nandito siya. So this is not sure. So hindi siya pwede. So Leah is a smart accountant. Now we said, oo, accountant siya definitely. Pero yung smart, sabi natin, di ba hindi tayo sure? So hindi siya pwede. So hindi din pwedeng all of the above. So balik na tayo dun sa letter A. That becomes our final answer. Leah is an accountant. Alright? So, again, that is how you make sure that you get the correct answer. You have to keep drawing it. So, practice, practice, practice. Again, if you have the workbook, go ahead and answer those exercises. And you have, if you have the booklets, meron din tayo doon on the analytical and logical reasoning section. Go ahead and answer your booklets. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video to your friends, lalo na kung exam din sila. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika to know kung kailan ng mga upcoming review events. And also, if you want to join the online review event or have a copy of the reviewers that I make. Like I said, you can answer your exercises on page pages 33 and 34 sa workbook. And if you have a copy of the smaller booklets, marami rin mga ganitong questions doon. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Hit the bell icon to know what's in new video posts because I try to make at least one new video lesson every week. Thank you guys and aja aja kainyan. I'll see you in my next video. Comment down below if you want me to talk about any topic next. Also vote dun sa poll sa taas. Thank you guys. God bless you. Never stop learning and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.